हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ योर टेक्स्ट बुक हॉर्नेल दैट इज द पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ अ लेडी द ऑथर ऑफ द चैप्टर इज खुशवंत सिंह द स्टोरी डील्स विद द रिलेशन ऑफ अ old lady and her grandson the lady is too old and uh, the child is living apart from his parents the parents are shifted to city in the village he is living with his grandmother all alone the first part of the chapter deals with the daily life of the lady and the grandson that is khushwan singh let's begin the chapter with a few phrases which are very important in the chapter the first phrase is the thought was almost revolting means the first part of the chapter describes the physical appearance of the grandmother she was too old that it was really difficult to believe that she can ever be young and pretty the second phrase is an expanse of pure white serenity again it describes the physical appearance and dressing sense of the lady she used to wear white clothes and her hair was also white as white as snow and it describes and symbolizes the piousness and purity of the lady third phrase is a turning point this describes when khushwan singh shifted to his parents in the city and here the relation of kushwan singh and the grandmother was completely changed it was a turning point as there was a lot of space in between their relationship the next phrase is accepted her seclusion with resignation means when there was distance in their relationship the lady confined herself in a room and she used to spend most of her time on spinning wheel or with the sparrows she didn't protest for this that why the child is away from her and she was completely quiet in this matter the next phrase is a veritable battle of chirpings when they shifted to city the most interesting time of the grandmother was with the sparrows they used to come in the evening hours sit around the grandmother and there was a lots of chirping sound around her frivolous ribbucks the next phrase is when sparrows used to sit on grandmother's shoulders hands 
or on her head she used to rebuck them lovingly the next phrase is the saging skins of the dilapidated dam when the grandson come back came back from abroad after his higher studies the lady was so happy that she took an old drum and started thumping it and she started singing the songs of warriors to describe her happiness now let us start the chapter Kushfan Singh's grandmother was like everybody's grandmother she was very old and having wrinkles on all over her face she used to wear white clothes and holding a rosary in her hands there was a portrait of kushwan singh's grandfather also and he was also very old so definitely it was unbelievable for a young child that the lady could ever be beautiful and married what he can imagine was that that the lady can only have lots and lots of grandchildren after this the chapter describes their daily life kushwan singh used to wake up early morning and the grandmother helped him out to get ready for school when she used to get him ready for school she was murmuring some inaudible prayers and many of the times she used to speak in a little louder voice so that the child can also listen those prayers kushwan singh was fond of listening the voice of the grandmother though she, he did not understand what she is praying but he liked to listen what she speak after that they both moved to school and on the way there were many dogs the dogs used to follow them and grandmother used to give them stale chapatis after reaching school the grandmother goes to the the grandmother goes to the temple which was beside the school building and while kushwan singh was studying in the school the grandmother spent her time in prayers and studying of the scriptures and after the school they both would come together to home in this way most of the time they spend together after few years when the parents were settled in the city they called both of them there to live with them and this was a turning point in their friendship although they both were living together in the same room 
बट खुशवंत सिंह गॉट एडमिशन इन एन इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल नाउ ही यूज टू गो टू स्कूल इन अ मोटर बस वाइल द ग्रैंड मदर वॉज लिविंग एट होम शी वुड प्रे दैन शी वुड Uh, spend her time on spinning wheel and in the evening she would give the bread crumbs to the sparrows when the child return returns from school he would tell that what all did he study over there it was english words western science the law of gravity and many more things which were beyond the knowledge of the grandmother she did not believe the things taught in the english medium schools as according to her the study of god and scriptures is more important but she would hear the child so that the child will keep on talking to her but after that she would become silent so in this way the distance was increasing in their relationship as the child grown up he went to the university for higher studies now he was shifted in a separate room as the child was getting higher studies and he needs more time for that the grandmother accepted her seclusion with the resignation she didn't oppose it all but in this way her time with the sparrows and spinning wheel was increasing from sunrise to sunset she sat by her spinning wheel and reciting prayers when the college got over kushwan singh went to abroad for further studies and this was the time when grandmother was too old and the author that is kushwan singh was not sure that after 5 years he would be able to meet her or not but grandmother was very sure she did not show any sentiment she was completely quiet and she came to railway station to see off the author but that time also she was completely quiet and her lips were moved in in audible prayers as usual her fingers were busy in telling the beads of her rosary she kissed his forehead and blessed him so that he can complete his studies successfully in this way 5 years passed and after 5 years kushwan singh came back and he found the grandmother at the railway station she was looking same not even a day older having same criss cross wrinkles on her face and still had no time to talk to anyone she just clasped the boy 
and reciting the prayers on the first day of his arrival the grandmother's happiest moments were with the sparrows she fed longer to them in the evening there were certain changes in her that day she didn't prayer she collected the women of the neighborhood and took an old drum she thumbed the drum for hours and hours and sang the songs of homecoming of warriors the family was quite worried that she may get ill due to this stress but she told i'm all okay this was the first time when she did not pray the next morning she was taken ill though it was a mild fever the doctor came and told that it would go but the grandmother thought in a different way she told her that her end was near she said that only a few hours before the close of last chapter of her life she had omitted to pray now she did not want to waste any of her time in talking to the family she told i want to pray though the family members protested but she ignored she laid peacefully in the bed and praying still she held the rosary and murmuring some inaudible prayers and before realizing that she is no more her lips stopped moving and the rosary fell from her lifeless fingers her face turned into a peaceful pallor spread on it they lifted the dead body of the grandmother and started the preparation of her funeral they covered the dead body with the shroud after a few hours when they were about to leave for her funeral thousand of sparrows came there and sat in the veranda all around her dead body but surprisingly there was no chirping sound the mother of kushwan singh felt sorry for the birds she fetched some bread crumbs for them but the sparrows took no to- notice of the bread and when the dead body was carried the corpse was off they flew away quietly next morning the sweeper swept the bread crumbs into the dustbin that's all so in this way we come to know that the chapter deals with the pious love and relation of a grandson with her grandmother thank you students Hello